This pygmonic shows prevention of falls, as the town perched way up high, with the patient being prevented from falling. Risk factors increasing the incidence of falls are broken down into a few categories. The first is simple physical fact of aging, the older adult hanging on for his life to the nurse. People get old. With this, visual acuity decreases, reaction time slows, they have a slower gait, and may experience urinary incontinence, causing them to get up more frequently. Polypharmacy, polypharmaceuticals, is another factor, as numerous drugs can lead to lightheadedness and imbalance. Alongside this, environmental factors, the environmental hazards strewn about, include all factors that aren't directly related to the patient. Poor lighting, loose carpets, and lack of safety equipment are examples. Preventing falls depends on the environment where the patient resides. In a facility or hospital setting, it's important to provide the patient a call light within reach, shown by the lady reaching for the call light. Also make appropriate assistive devices available, like a cane or walker. Although their use is controversial, appropriate use of bed alarms and other devices is encouraged to prevent injury in certain patients. In the home setting, be sure to improve lighting, the improved larger light bulb, as well as remove home hazards, discarding the fall hazards from home. Caregivers should promote exercise with a general focus on balance and coordination, shown by the treadmill. Finally, it's a priority for the nurse to always provide a fall risk assessment, the fall risk assessed man watching the man fall down. In short review, prevention of falls begins with identifying the risk factors, physical aging, polypharmacy, and environmental factors. Facility prevention includes having a call light within reach, making assistance available, and using bed alarms when warranted. At home, patients should improve lighting and remove hazards. We can intervene by promoting exercise and doing a fall risk assessment. For prevention of falls, imagine this little community perched high on a towering landmass, and everybody who lives there stands a chance of falling off. But lucky for them, a nurse is there to prevent the patients from falling. It happens all the time. An older adult gets out of a bed that was left a little too high, trips on some environmental hazards like hoses and cords, and goes tumbling right off the edge. And as the nurse clings to the patient, dangling precariously from a branch over the edge, an impaired poly on multiple pharmaceuticals stumbles out there as well, making a bad situation even worse. Over at the hospital, they keep a call light within reach, should any patients need to reach for something to keep from falling. Whenever they get out of bed, an alarm goes off, and assistive devices like canes and walkers rush to save the patient. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our patient safety Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from prevention of falls, seizure precautions, seizure interventions, environmental emergencies, bleeding precautions, and so much more, so you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.